What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles, and this is my wife here, Adriana. Hey, guys. And today we are at the Houston RV Show taking a look at what is, in my opinion, and I don't even know if it's opinion, I think it's a matter of fact, the best super C here at the Houston RV Show. So this is a Verona LE, and this is going to be, shoot, I don't remember the floor plan layout now. <laughs> we'll go check in just a second. But it's a Verona LE. I absolutely love these things. This looks really, really clean. Three slide outs on it. And then we have some pretty exciting news if you've been watching our channel for a while. So let's go. Are you bilingual or speak Spanish? Well, we have video RV tours for you as well. My wife, father-in-law, and I have been hard at work to put together RV tours in Spanish for yourself or family members that may find those easier to watch and listen to. So go check those out. There are links down below in the description of this page, or you can go to www.firmlyunbound.com. All right, y'all. So this is a Renegade Verona 40 or Verona LE, sorry, 40 LRB. What I like about the Verona LE line is, first of all, in the hierarchy of Renegade, there's a couple different things I need to talk about real quick, actually. Hierarchy of Renegade, the Verona LE is going to be their third tier up on the Freightliner chassis. They also have some Super C's that are going to be on the uh, F550 chassis as well. So they have some different stuff there. But in the Freightliner series, with Renegade, you have your Verona LE, and this is the first Freightliner model that you'll have with three slide outs. So opposing slide outs in the living room, gonna give you a huge space in there. They also have a really, really nice tile flooring in here, if I remember correct as well. So love that about them. Renegade is a really, really phenomenal company. If you do some research online about Renegade, you will find a lot of really, really good reviews. The way I've always explained them, because we did carry these at my Dallas store that I used to be at, more into that if you just heard used to be and don't know what's going on. We'll get into that in a bit. But we carried the Renegade line there, so I know a fair amount about the Renegade product. Renegade is more of a boutique style motorhome brand is how I would explain it. First of all, they only make Super C's. So you won't see anything else out in the market from Renegade other than Super C's. That is all they do and that is what they specialize in. So this is really cool that they get these really, really nice, well put together products. I wish I could get up on the roof because if you get to like the details on how they do their seals on the roof and things like that, it's just different than what you see from a lot of other Super C manufacturers. They are really, really, really focused on giving you a more premium product as opposed to pushing out a lot of products. So they're more on the quality over quantity side and they produce less than a thousand motorhomes a year. So they're not pumping out a bunch of motorhomes every year. But that's pretty much everything on the Renegade story. Also, best resale value you're probably going to find in just about anything because there are so few of these even in rotation. So very hard to find something like this used out there in the market because Renegade just doesn't build a lot of them to begin with. And as we go inside here, babe, click that button. You can see all the lights are off. So when you click that all on button, yeah, let's go inside. I'm going to show the uh, steps as you walk into because I really like the Verona LE accent. They have an all on interior master light switch, which is very practical. So you can just turn all the lights on. Look at this floor. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have an actual tile floor in here. So tile and grout, really nice quality. And everything in here from Renegade, you're getting a custom handmade cabinetry. So really nice solid hardwood finishes on here and everything. You can see the accents in your textures that you have here with that print in there. And with the opposing slide outs, you just have an incredible amount of floor space. Now, typically, if I was in an RV lot, I would love to close the slides on this, show you what's accessible with the slides. Not that anything isn't accessible, but just show you the space. Um, we are at an RV show, so we cannot close up all the slides and whatnot. But nonetheless, you can get to everything. You will have a walkway through the middle here when your slides are closed to get back to the bedroom. And as you come up to this front area, babe, I know you love this space over the driver's cab area. <laughs> the private jet space. Yeah, exactly. This kind of feels like, yeah, you're, you know, in a first class suite or something like that, or in a private jet, just with the lighting and how they do this. And then big you'll have, fan of the window. Yep. You'll have the window with a retractable shade. This will pull back here. So this will allow you to turn this into a bed and then it'll push that way when you don't want it as a bed. 
then that will allow you to get up to this area here. This is going to be on a M2 Freightliner chassis, 20,000 pound towing capacity on here. And then you will have your Allison transmission. This is going to be an air ride seat. So this will be nice and comfy for you. And this is a really, this is that soft, like buttery feeling leather that you have here. So love that too. And that is really, really comfortable. Auto leveling controls up here as well. Um, because we are at an RV show and we are trying to film as many RVs as absolutely possible. Typically, if I was at an RV lot, I would go through some more of the functions and stuff here. We are at an RV show, so we are not going to go into that level of detail. But if you stay tuned on my channel, you will see that level of detail in future videos that are not at a show. Light controls up here. You're going to have this nice storage space up here as well that is lit as well. And outlets there with a USB type C plug in that. Samsung refrigerator. And when this opens up, you'll have that space there. Now I've heard a lot of negative stuff about the Samsung refrigerators. I don't know why exactly. Like people in our family have Samsung refrigerators. We love Samsung. <laughs> yeah. Never had any issues, but I've heard a lot of people complain about the Samsung refrigerator. So if you're one of those people, maybe you can elaborate on details what of what your uh, experience has been. Yeah. Absolutely. Let us know. JBL sound system up in here. That's new. Actually. I don't think the 22s even had a JBL sound system. If I don't, if I remember correct, but those are JBL speakers. Ooh, that's neat. That's neat. Yeah, it has a little latch too. Wow. Nice. So you have a pullout kind of spice rack accessible from both sides. It's taller than me. Right. And then this is going to be a propaneless coach. So no propane on here. It's going to have an aqua hot heating system. You're going to have your induction cooktop here. So that will be your induction cooktop. Samsung microwave and convection oven combo. This is definitely a residential size. Add that. Really nice. Look at this tile backsplash. You love those colors. Mm -hmm. I already know. It looks so well with this brown wood. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Have your sink in here with your covers for that to make this into countertop space. All solid hardwood construction throughout everything in here. So even everything down into your bottom piece there is all solid hardwood and really, really good quality. Soft closed drawers on there. And then no soft closed cabinets, surprisingly. But I guess that's all right. That's going to be your subwoofer for your sound system. And then you have your storage underneath here. Electric fireplace. And that will put out heat. And then more drawers there. I kind of wish they would have done a different interior for this. Interior color. Yeah. Yeah, it would have looked better if maybe they did like a, um, what was, it was like a. Uh, charcoal. Yeah, like a charcoal stainless steel mm -hmm. type look or something. Something like kinda that. Kind of like the fridge. If they could have just matched it with the fridge. Yeah, it might have given it a little bit classier mm -hmm. look. But I understand what you're saying. Um, down underneath here, day and night shades on your windows. They're MCD roller shades and you do get a window in the kitchen space. Is there anything behind here? There is. So if we pull, you can pull this out a little bit. Help me pull the, there you go. Yeah, that latch there releases it and then this will extend out. Nice. Yeah. So you can kind of position this to Just make sure you're not going crazy with the water here. Right. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, it is right next to your sink. You can extend that out. You do have cabinets back behind here unless they are just nope, they're actual real cabinets. So that is going to allow for a bunch of storage back behind there. That's kind of hidden storage as well. Can we talk about these seats? I'll be there in just a second. We got a Blu-ray player underneath here, it looks like, and then your sound bar. So yeah, then let's go over here to your seating. That are super comfy. Yeah, that's I that. like how it rounds around. Yeah, you have that nice kind of area that you can lounge into. It has some built-in cup holders. <laughs> nice, that's nice. <laughs> Plugs too. on each side underneath. Yeah. Very convenient. Yep, yep. And Legless dinette table. Yep. Free to move your legs around that will drop down and make into a bed. So you do have that function as well. And then you will have storage that pulls out from underneath here. Right now they have- Wow, these are comfy. Yeah. This material is like, I mean, it is just a dreamy material. It feels so, so Does nice. Does this turn into something? Yeah, this will turn into a bed. Okay. Yeah, that'll turn. Pretty much anytime you see a dinette table, in most instances where it's cushions like that, yeah. it'll turn into a bed. Autumn in there. Um, yeah, you have some storage underneath Ooh, there too. I like the brown felt inside. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm glad you pointed out that material. Yeah, carpet lined on that. Then when you come over here, light accent panels all around your entire motorhome. So you will have that. And then one thing I like to point out too, you have these hinges in here. Now in most motorhomes, your hinge or your door here will open up to here and it'll stop. And then once you go down, it's either going to snap down or it's going to 
actually that's really all that will typically happen unless you have this hinge like what renegade uses or renegade they are going to have this where it will stop at any position that you stop it so that it doesn't close on you or snap closed on you so no, a much more premium hinge that you have on your cabinetry sofa here is going to be directly across from your tv and this will make into a bed as well for additional sleeping so so far you have sleeping for at least two here and one or two there and then two more in the back so four to six people for sure in this motorhome does this open it will so this 40 lrb is going to have a half bath back here you have your toilet there there it goes medicine cabinet up here they you, put in a corner so you can have more space in there you know what's interesting is like looking at the wood in here it is a more like traditional brown color but but it still looks great it looks really good it looks like a modern it feels modern and because I, of the colors and the tile and yeah all the extra stuff they put it helped make it more modern yeah definitely so nice space in there and then you have your storage back in the corner here actually thought it was storage and that's going to be some control panels and breakers and fuses max air vent fan and then a sliding pocket door for your privacy washer dryer in this area we'll actually keep these closed because most people know what a washer dryer looks like but are you sure be, <laughs> <laughs> but that'll be a washer dryer look at the bedding this bedding is a really nice color too mm -hmm. that looks really good the back frame yep and one thing i like too is you have your panel up underneath here so you will have your controls for different elements here and you can start and stop your generator that is on board with that panel it's a cute fan. Yep. Ceiling fan in the bedroom. So you get that added luxury as well. And then you're going to have two ACs on this model. So AC in the bedroom and AC in the living room. A his and her closet. Yep. Good amount of storage. Samsung TV in here as well. And then Blu-ray player down underneath here with more storage underneath here and two drawers. Um, underneath here, another highlight feature to point out is if we lift up the bed. You have Whoa. 150 gallons of fresh water capacity. So that's two 75 gallon fresh water tanks, giving you 150 gallons for your fresh water. So you can do some really extensive stuff on the road and camp for a long period of time. Um, they built this for like, I just had a customer recently on a Renegade product before I left where I was at and they did go-kart racing with one of their kids and this was something where you know they get to a track and they're stuck at the track for about four days and having that 150 gallon freshwater capacity definitely makes it so you can more comfortably stay in an environment like that and especially when you might be in an environment where you're like you're parked and then you can't get out until the event's over outlets here so you can plug in whatever devices you have on both sides of the bed and this is my one critique with a lot of the super c motorhomes is you're typically getting these corner showers which are not great they're not terrible but they're not great but they're not great yeah so not our preferred thing but for how cool this thing is for how rugged it is for the towing capacity that you get i could live with it pretty dang easily this is nice. a good space yeah nice space in there and you have your kind of flush sink here where it's all seamless there and lots of storage out throughout here as well there's where the toilet paper goes. So nice how they do all the LED lighting underneath. Mm -hmm. the, woodwork the accent. Here. Yeah, it looks a little more yellow on camera than it actually is. So don't think that's really a yellow color. It's more just a warm white. And a medicine cabinet that opens up. Um, you want to show them the shower height in here too? Yeah. Because this here, this is about six, five or so to right here. And then you'll have an additional two or three inches here. So you could easily be about six, eight and fit inside this shower. So no problem with that. And then let's walk out this way. And I think that's just about everything on the inside space. Ceiling height in here again, plenty of room, soft touch ceiling panels. So just that added premium quality there. And right here is your control panel for everything. You have your control panels all throughout the coach, but you'll also have your panel here where you can control all the different functions of your RV, check your tank levels, um, start and stop your generator, things of that nature there. And that's pretty much everything on the inside. So let's head outside. All right, so as we come along the outside, really nice color scheme on here. This is a molded one piece back cap that you have on the back. Nice Verona LE logo there. 20,000 pound towing capacity down underneath here. And then as we come around this side, one thing I've always liked to point out with Renegade is in your storage bins, those are all metal. So there's so many Super C's out there in the market that have plastic storage bins. These are metal storage bins. 
but that is a big difference in quality there that you're getting and they are all carpet lines. Slam latch baggage doors, so those will just slam shut. And then again, look at these American Racing ATX series wheels that you have with the Bridgestone tires. They are a 20, uh, 295-75R 22.5 tire there. And just look absolutely killer with those ATX series wheels. Coming this way, you have your Samsung TV outside with your Samsung sound bar. Nice. And you will have an awning that comes out over the top. So it comes out from over the top there. There should be solar on the roof as well. And then down underneath here, again, storage bay all throughout here with an outlet in there. So plenty of room on the outside of your motorhome where you will be on your campsite to access all of your gear and equipment and things like that. And then your Aqua Hot 450D system on here. This is going to be your hydronic heating system for both your instant hot water and it can also use various different components, including the diesel fuel, to heat your coach as well. Coming up here, one of the big benefits with the Super C, because this is most comparable to a Class A motorhome, which is like your bus style motorhomes. And if you don't know so much about those, I have a book. Like if you're watching this and you're like, what the heck is a Super C, a Class A, whatever it may be, I wrote a book. And it's called The Introduction to RVs. It is in our RV Buyer's Guide collection from our company. So make sure to check out www.firmlyunbound.com. Yep, go check that out. And actually, you know what I just realized? The way that showed on camera, you're typing it backwards. www.firmlyunbound.com. <laughs> there you go. But that's okay. <laughs> but anyway, so go check that out and that's going to explain all the differences the basics to understanding rvs if you don't know what like a black tank gray tank is how rv electrical systems work things like that i break down all that information and i was in a sales position for three and a half years and i filmed over a thousand rvs in that time and i learned a lot and so i decided to put all that information into a book that will help beginners understand rvs better so go check that out on our website we should open this. Oh, we're going to open it for sure. Nice. Want to show the wheels here real quick as well? Because that's what I was getting into with your benefits of a Super C versus a Class A is your engine is up front here. So you have this huge engine block, which has a huge crumple zone on it. So if you were ever to get in some sort of head-on collision here, which hopefully never happens, but in the event that it does, you have all of this equipment up here, heavy-duty equipment at that, that is going to mitigate that impact and keep you protected now on a class a motorhome it is just a flat wall right here and it is just you and a windshield between a head-on collision also this means your engine is up front now in class a diesel pusher motorhomes they are called diesel pushers because the engine is in the back of the motorhome meaning you have to access a panel in the back of the motorhome that goes through the flooring to get to the engine much more difficult to work on harder to find text to work on and things of that nature this here keeps your engine right up front and then you have the cummins diesel engine in here and we will get the specs on the screen for this engine here because I do not know them right off the top of my head to be completely honest. And also, because I'm no certified expert on RVs and if I miss something, misspoke on something, or maybe there's some information you know about this model here that I may not know, just add that down below in the comments. That's what the comment section is for, to add that value for the other viewers as well. Look at that grill. Yeah, looks really, really nice. This is a custom Renegade RV you know grill what? there. Wow. Right? <laughs> That flashlight, such a great touch. <laughs> Should have had that a lot earlier. Trying to so. help you all be able to see better. Right? So really nice look on this side. You're going to have two slide outs on this side. And then a lot of your components over here, things like your generator, your water connection, have lithium batteries. So this looks like, this is, uh, these are three of the Dragonfly batteries. These are the game changer batteries. So these are 270 amp hour batteries and three of them at that. Those are like $2,500 batteries a piece. Jeez. So yeah, that's over $7,500 in batteries just right there. Storage underneath here. This is how you know there's solar on the roof because you have this really complex Victron energy um, setup down here. This is all of your solar equipment, like your inverter, your solar charge controller that are going to be working with your solar panel to, or your solar panels on the roof to mitigate your charge going to the batteries and things of that nature. Um, this is just going to be dump stations here, water station down in there. We're not going to get into all this extra stuff. And then back here, 8,000 watt Onan generator and your power cord reel and your surge protector. And that is pretty much... That is the Verona LE. <laughs> <laughs>
And that's all we got for y'all. So let us know down below what you think about this Verona LE. And then, babe, you want to tell them where to go? Make sure to go to www.firmlyunbound.com. Yeah, go check that out. And then hopefully we uh, remember to put the words on the screen here or that, <laughs> or else that's going to look really weird like what did he just do. But yeah, go check that out. Again, if you are just very brand new to RVs and you need like an elementary education on RVs and what RVs are, the different types, what uh, the lingo is in RVs, and then want to hear my answers to my most frequently asked questions from customers and new salespeople over the last three and a half years, Go check out our book. It is the Introduction to RVs Beginner's Edition in our RV Buyer's Guide Collection at www.firmlyunbound.com. That's all we got for y'all. Until next time, we'll see you out camping.